Continuing on with the review packet, the online review packet for unit five, um, question number nine relates to magnetic fields. So it says, sketch at least four magnetic field lines of force around the bar magnet below. Include arrows to show the direction of the field line. Now, obviously, you can't draw this on the computer. Um, if this were a paper test, you would be asked to draw this. Um, so the first thing you need to know is, do the field lines go from north to south or south to north? And this is just one of those things you're going to have to have memorized. And it's actually north to south. And if I were to draw them, it would look like this. Okay, the field lines would go this direction. So that's what you would draw if it were a paper test. Okay, moving on. A 4.5 meter length wire of a cross-sectional area of 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared at 20 degrees Celsius. The current in the wire is 4 amperes when connected to a 3 volt source of potential difference. So again, potential difference is a fancy word for voltage, which is the battery. All right, determine the resistance of the wire. Well, in this case, um, there's two equations that we know for resistance. There's R equals V over I, and then there's R equals the um, resistivity times the length divided by the area. So in this case, it's going to be easier to use this equation because we happen to know the current and we happen to know the voltage. So that's gonna make our lives easier. So three volts divided by four amps is gonna just be 0 0.75 ohms. And that's the resistivity of the wire. Now number, um, sorry, the resistance of the wire. Number 11 says calculate the resistivity of the wire, show all work, including the equation and substitution with units. So in this one, we want to use R equals PL over A. Resistivity is this value here. Usually you look it up in the reference table, but it doesn't actually tell us the material. It doesn't say if it's copper. It doesn't say if it's silver. Um, and it wants you to calculate it instead. So we're going to have to use this value here for my R. My length, thankfully, was given here. So we're going to use that there. And then my area, this number here, is that. And we are going to solve for the P. Um, so I'm just going to rewrite this equation. I'm going to multiply by A on both sides. So that's going to be RA equals P times L. And then I'm going to divide by L on both sides. And so what I've done is I've rewritten the equation to be written to solve for this, to solve for the resistivity. So it's the same equation, I just rearranged it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna substitute my numbers in. So 0 0.75 ohms times my area, 3.14 times 10 to the negative six meters squared, divided by my length, 4.5 meters, and that's gonna equal my resistivity. So once we grab our calculator and solve for all of that, I plug it in and I get 5.23 times 10 to the negative 7. And then what are my units? Well, we have meters squared divided by meters. So one of these meters is going to cancel out with that. And I'm left with ohms times meter. And that is the correct units for resistivity. So that's my answer.